Hey everyone! In today's Let's Be Frank, we're going to take a look at Stone Shard, which is an absolutely brutal turn-based 2D sprite crawler with some open world elements. Unlike some of my previous videos, this one might actually seem a bit negative. I personally found a lot of opportunity in this game, and my experience was frustrating to say the least. I'll start by saying that this game is designed to be very hard. Your adventure isn't any more powerful than the average person. But despite that, you'll still be pursuing lofty, violent goals. While that sounds like a pretty great game setup, you'll be doing this without any quick save or auto save options. If they'd have stopped right there, they'd have something closer to the winning formula that attracts masochists towards games like Dark Souls. Where the two games actually differ is that while Dark Souls can be learned, mastered, and eventually overcome, Stone Shard relies on random number generators for combat takes skill out of the equation and substitutes it mostly for luck. The result is a painful experience, where sometimes you do everything perfectly and your luck eventually just runs out. Saving the game as it stands right now, it can only be done in specific spots. Renting a room is the only way you're able to save a game, and it metaphorically puts your progress into a vault, so you can continue safely gambling with your life. Working outward from the inn is a safe zone, and exploring outward is a valid strategy. But if you're able to find and successfully kill single enemies, you may actually even build up some experience little by little. Building up funds in this way, however, that was a major challenge. You can earn direct cash rewards from quests, but the level of difficulty from the number of fights you'll face is pretty extreme. To segue directly over to money in the economy of the game, while water is free from the town well, Purchasing food in combination with other costs may not be ideal. Instead, you'll likely find yourself cooking up your enemies and munching on roasted mushrooms to save money. While I like the concept of the cooking system and the stat changes of different things, I mostly use that system because I remain broke from repairs and healing costs. Medicines, splints, and bandages are things you can't really make or find out in the wild. And if you take damage in a fight, your individual body parts are affected. There are different levels of injury requiring different levels of treatment, and there's a limit to what your body can handle. It's actually possible to quite literally die from pain in this game, not to mention having to monitor things like your morale or sanity. Stone Shard is absolutely a rage quit generator, as again, dying for any reason means you go back to your save. Until you're back in town with your quest completed, you quickly learn not to get ahead of yourself. I wouldn't have an issue with the difficulty of Stone Shard in any way if the outcomes were determined by skill or strategy as opposed to luck. There are certainly arguments to be made for different playstyles or combining different skills together, but that wouldn't go so far to change the grind or the frustration for the one key reason. Games that pull this concept off successfully give you an immense feeling of accomplishment when you finally overcome, because you yourself were better than you were yesterday. It wasn't just luck that got you there and that sense of satisfaction is incredible. There are many games that I could name here that have done that for me, where you're pitted against some incredible odds with only basic tools and survive mostly on your own merit. It's what makes that experience worth having, and unfortunately, that feeling is just missing for me with Stone Shard. That said, this game is still in beta. It's in early access, so that could change significantly. I hope that it does. There's a lot of systems that are really well thought out, and the mechanics of those systems seem to work perfectly. In cases like this, the player experience needs to be considered, and the fun and excitement of this game needs to heavily outweigh the frustration of the hoops you jump through to keep playing. If the developers continue to add ways to put more control over the outcome into the player's hands, I'd gladly give this one another shot. Thank you all for choosing to spend a few minutes with me and hear out my take on Stone Shard. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.